everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic back with another news update where we'll be going over some new Mattel releases today, starting off with Snap Squad, some really exciting stuff, joining this fun collectible line of bite happy Mattel figurines. We're also going to be going over some other new releases for 2021. Of course, I'm talking about Dino Escape. Uh, we've already talked about Wild Packs on the channel, as well as some early looks at some other figures coming out. Um, but today we'll be talking about the new Fierce Force uh, assortment for Dino Escape. So stay tuned for later in the video where we talk about that. But for now, I am going to go back to those Snap Squad figures. Let's talk about those. This is Snap Squad squad attitudes and you can see why there's snap squad attitudes right here in this first picture uh, they do all have a little bit more of an em emotional sort of uh, emotive sculpt on all of them and there's actually some really funny stuff going on here and there's some new species too so we'll go ahead and take a look at each of these figurines one by one uh, of course we have this raptor here I don't even know how to describe that emotion he looks confused or uh, maybe a little embarrassed Pretty funny. Uh, of course, we have a Triceratops too. This would be the third Triceratops Snap Squad we get. Um, just looks a little uh, angry. It looks a little uh, snarly even. Um, not quite mean, but uh, I, 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 again, I love the looks on all these faces. Of course, one of my favorites out of this whole sort of assortment is the Stegosaurus. This would be a new species for Snap Squad. And come on, look at that face. Uh, very chill, very mellowed out, very relaxed, maybe even falling asleep. Uh, the Stegosaurus for me is is the highlight of this batch, but there's some other really fun, cute ones in here too. Uh, of course, we have uh, another raptor um, looking very mean, very angry, sort of snarling its lip. Uh, you know, sh Again, it's kind of cool how they took these ex existing sculpts and um, you know, tweaked them a little bit to give them uh, sort of a whole new life with this uh, very emotive um, purpose for each um, revision. And then we also have some new species like Dimorphodon, um, which is in here a couple times, but this Dimorphodon just looks really, really uh, ticked off. I love the squinted eyes. Cool coloration too. Uh, here's another uh, Dimorphodon. Looks uh, a little bit more, um, a little bit more annoyed, less angry, um, but a different colorway. So we're already getting two different colorways um, if these pictures are indicative of what will finally come out. We also have a very bright looking Baryonyx. I couldn't tell if this was just a repaint or if this was some sort of emotion. Uh, hard to say. Uh, maybe it's sort of an overbite sort of deal. I don't know. It looks very similar to the Baryonyx we already have. Then of course we have this T-Rex who looks like he's about to cry. Uh, again, I think I, I think these are all great. Um, you know, several of these are just so, so adorable with their new emotion. And of course, we get those new species here as well. Uh, so again, kind of breathing new life into Snap Squad, evolving it a little bit, allowing them to sort of use some uh, releases they've already done and retool them and kind of give them a, a whole new lease on life um, with these variations in their facial um, emotions. So really fun stuff coming from Mattel. Um, but let's talk about that Dino Escape Fierce Force assortment. This assortment will be will be replacing Savage Strike, um, so kind of that $9.99 price point. And you can see we have two new figures coming, all new figures. Uh, one's an all new species. Uh, I hopefully I won't butcher the name here. It's uh, Mashakasaurus and Velociraptor. Apologize, apologize in advance if I uh, got that wrong. But let's talk about the Velociraptor first. This would be an all new sculpt, though technically it looks like there's a little bit of kit bashing here. Some pieces from, you know, maybe the attack pack legs and the head looks like the jumping raptor. Um, but all kind of coming together to create uh, a new figure, a new silhouette. I love the colors on this. Uh, the the uh, body itself and this photo anyway uh, does look a little bit awkward and I can't tell if there's some sort of action feature here you know if this is Savage Strike it probably has some sort of action feature so maybe something with the way the waist pivots hard to say um, but you know the, the only kind of drawback I see of this figure is that jumping raptor head um, you know it, it just kind of feels like it's plopped on here a little bit. I already personally don't love that raptor head. I would have loved to see them use the battle damage raptor. Um, you know, that one felt a little bit more um, accurate. But, um, you know, this is just one angle, one photo of the figure. So maybe in the end when we kind of see some different shots of it, maybe in the package, um, this thing will look uh, even better. But I, I think the colorway alone uh, is something to get excited about. And, of course, a new sculpt too. But I'm still very curious about 
what action feature this thing packs. I mean, is it like you move the tail and the waist pivots or is it some sort of jumping thing that are the arms sort of like slashing? Hard to say, but uh, new Velociraptor on the way anyway as part of Fierce Force. And I'm guessing this one will probably be uh, the, the mold they use for a while for Fierce Force. So we'll just have to see. Um, but of course, Raptor is a popular species, so it makes sense. It's coming out the gate in Fierce Force. Now getting to this other uh, difficult to pronounce dinosaur name, uh, Mashakasaurus. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, this is an interesting one. Uh, it's definitely got a strange look to it. If you know about the actual dinosaur it's based off of it sort of has this splayed out jaw with sort of these crazy looking teeth in the front so i think that's what they were going for here um but to me i mean this is just my personal opinion this kind of looks like a dragon to me and less like a dinosaur especially with the ridges on the back uh but the body itself does have a lot of cool detail cool shape sort of cool movement throughout it but that face is just a little bit hard for me to get behind again this is just one photo so maybe with the jaws shut it looks good i know we see that with a lot of of Mattel dinosaurs where maybe their mouth open they look a little goofy but once you shut the the mouth they look uh, a little bit more serious a little bit more realistic so that could be the case here um Maybe from other angles, it doesn't quite doesn't look so uh, mouthy or toothy. But again, that is sort of the intention with this species. Uh, Mashakasaurus does have this sort of splayed out front jaw where the teeth stick out. So I think they were just trying to do that, and then they made all the teeth stick out, which is something we see on some Mattel figures anyway, having those teeth sort of individually sculpt sculpted uh, on the head. Irritator comes to mind. That's one that they did that for, as well as Ramphoricus. So when it's intentional, like uh, on a species skull like this I think they just sort of make it a little more exaggerated so anxious to see some more photos of Mashakasaurus so we can get a little bit better of an idea of how this figure is going to look but body and color wise uh, a lot to get excited about and um, that's all we know about for Fierce Force now uh, if it's a Savage Strike replacement of course it makes sense that there would be um, quite a bit more uh, on the way for Fierce Force but we'll just have to wait and see um, but yeah I mean the, all these toys coming out um, right around the corner very exciting times to be collecting Jurassic with the Snap Squad and all the new Dino Escape toys so we'll keep you in the loop as they come out uh, but that's all I got for today uh, thanks again for watching I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic and I'll see you next time